All right, let's see if we can tackle uh, same I am's comment. Daniel 70th week, Jacob's trouble, the great tribulation. Tribulation is defined by Hebrew and Greek, distress, trouble, pressure. Okay, so, uh, you know, Hebrew and Greek, you, you know, you're using Hebrew and Greek to define English words. You could use uh, Spanish to define English words. You could use um you know chinese japanese to define tribulation or you could use english since we're speaking english to define tribulation and it's interesting you're using english words and you're attributing them to different languages that are not english okay and so this is a trick that people use they think, uh, well, Hebrew and Greek is God's language. It's not God's language at all. And I don't, I don't know where they get this from. I, I could point to the Bible and say, well, this uh, supports the view that the Hebrew and Greek are God's languages, but there's nothing there. Okay, nothing at all. Uh, in fact, um, there are verses uh, that... Uh, say otherwise then the law is written with men of other tongues and other lips will i speak unto this people and yet for all that will they not hear me and of course uh, if you're familiar with acts 2 how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born okay uh, if you're familiar there's no god's language and it's just a trick people use to change what god really says okay and i don't know why you're falling for that sam I wish I could break you out of that, but you, I guess you got to figure that out on your own. Where do you get wrath? Where do you get wrath? Okay, I'm not sure. He might be referring to something. Okay, so in Matthew 24, we read about the Great Tribulation. Okay. Um, for then shall there be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Now there are people that say the great tribulation is the wrath of God. All right. The, and the problem with that is that you're saying that the wrath of God comes before the return of Jesus Christ. And that we Christians will not suffer great tribulation. All right. And that's... Uh, prosperity gospel uh, that you know this idea that there's going to be a awakening and there's, there's going to be a renewal and all sorts of you know and the whole world's just going to turn into christian and things are going to get better and better and that's not the case that's the opposite of what the bible uh, teaches us and the fact that i think it, it might even come down to a lack of understanding the english language i really do and so Again, I would encourage, when you're reading the Bible, learn the English language. Don't try to learn languages you don't know. There's a saying that a little Greek is dangerous. All right, so if you pretend to know a little Greek, uh, that's a dangerous thing because you don't know any Greek. All right. Uh, so, in the world we shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. There, I thought that was in the Bible somewhere, right there. Right. These things have I spoken unto you, that in, ye may, you, in me ye may have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And then uh, I think, where is this at? Uh, um, For verily, when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass. And you know, okay, so... I mean, there are examples, uh, all, you know, all throughout the Bible that we're going to face tribulations, trials, troubles. All right. So it's not a, you know, this idea that we're not going to face tribulations is, I mean, it, they killed the Lord Jesus. If he suffered a great tribulation, if you will, if he suffered, then we also should expect to suffer. No servant is greater than his master. All right. And then Revelation 3, or I'm sorry, Revelation 9 and 10. Uh, and to them it was given 
that they should not kill them, but they, but that they should be tormented five months, and their torment was as the torment of a scorpion. All right, and Greek definition, you, or, you know, you might as well go with the Hungarian definition for torment is torture. I mean, again, this is silly. It's like your, it's like a voodoo, in my opinion, your voodoo definition of it's. There's no, just learn the English. What's the English definition for torment? Right? And the world cannot possibly exist after seven years of God's wrath. Now you could say, just take a minute for God's wrath and nobody will be able to survive. Uh, not sure why you're hung up on seven years. Uh, there is no pre-tribulation rapture. I agree with that. We will escape his wrath, of course, like, uh, you know, uh, God pulled his people out of Egypt, provided them an escape. So also do we have an escape through our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, and oops. These were all written to answer the questions, when will this happen, and what will be the signs, why, number one, why go into such great detail to his apostles and disciples if they were not going to be here? That's a good point. Why the warning to be not deceived and warning of betrayal, persecution, hatred, and death if they were not going to be betrayed, persecuted, hated, and killed? I agree with that. The 501c has lied to us. Okay, so the 501c3 is uh, is a, what do you call it, a, a law or decree or whatever you want to, it's not a person. So, I don't know how you can say it lied to. We are in a great tribulation now, I agree with that. We will not be here for the five months of wrath, okay. We will not be here during the wrath of God, completely agree, we will be up in the air, and the whole world, all the wicked, will be at our feet. And it's uh, told to us many times throughout the Bible that um, that, that uh, you know, like He will reign till uh, His uh, enemies are made His footstool. All right, I mean that goes that goes back to Genesis. Three, doesn't it? Um, bruise, heal, right? And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. All right, so when Jesus comes, he's going to stomp out all unrighteousness. All right. So I'm not making very good progress here. I might have to do another video on this i'm kind of taking my time all right and then the covid um sort of certificate of vaccination identification this revelation six white horse has conquered the world through fear it is okay so the white horse in revelation six is jesus christ it's the first seal in the beginning was god and uh, you know it's not covid the, you, okay so Listen, if you were, if you're saved and you've got the COVID vaccine and it turned you into a crocodile, you're still saved. You're sealed with the Holy, uh, with the Holy uh, seal of God, right? It's not, nothing can change that. You can't lose your salvation and there's no way that man can take it away from you. So there's nothing to worry about. Uh, Jesus is very clear fear not that them that can kill the body but fear him that can kill both body and soul in hell so there's I, you know and then why are you saying this is Jesus Jesus is the white horse there should be no doubt about it and has conquered the world through fear no nope. it is a forerunner to Revelation 13 Antichrist mask 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 mark okay so uh, now you're calling Jesus the Antichrist. See, I got a problem with that. And the, the wearing the mask, you know, it looks goofy, but it's not. You're not condemned to hell if that's what you're trying to push. All right, so let's go. That'll be the end of this, and let's go to the next one.